this is Pat Walker, Admission Winners, doing a training coaching video for everybody on one of the setups that we use to get into a stock. We have, you know, everybody has tools, setups that they've refined through the years, and we look for clean and simple, and we're always looking for a, a way to get into a stock. I have to stress something. I don't look at five-minute charts. I hardly ever look at 10-minute charts. I'll look at daily and weekly, and I'll fine-tune it down to 30-minute or hourly to find entry with volume signatures. I don't day trade, and I don't scalp, and I try to ride things for as long as possible, but I'm always looking for a potential entry. And I'd like to show you something here. We're looking at Amazon daily on the left, <clears throat> hourly on the right. And this is April 30th. April 30th. And what am I seeing? Right here, closed down just a little bit on less volume. Volume, as I said, was less, so the selling pressure wasn't that heavy. It's between, it's below the 50-day and below, and in between and above the 20-day. This is the day chart, but this is what caught my eye. I'm going to fine tune this for you. This is the hourly chart on Amazon, and this is the close right here on the hour. It's a penny difference, okay, but it's it's there, right there. What did I notice? Clean tops on the daily. Look at this. Two days of tops, and I said to myself, and I told the VIPs, if it can take out these tops, that could be a buy. Now, the date here is 430, April 30th. This is April 30th hourly. And again, what caught my eye? This volume pickup. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to take it a step further for you, and I'm going to show you something else that we look at. We're going to go back to April 30th. This is April 30th on the QQQ, or QLD. And it's below the moving averages, but folks, what does it have? It has a higher low. This low is higher than this low. And that's with something that I was looking at, saying there's potential that this could lift right here the next day. Clean tops on the Q QLD, clean tops on Amazon. So we had a setup, and it is a max list stock. I'm going to go back here to that day, right there, April 3rd. And I'm going to slide this back also. So we're together. And I'm doing this bar by bar. Okay, this is really important. A lot of people, oh, just kind of catch it. It's like, no, no, let's walk through it. This is the real world. It's your money. And this is the way we love to teach it. This is what we do. I told VIPs right here that if this starts to lift through these tops, okay, the next day, this could be a buy. But we'll be watching it. So we were all set. And again, this line here would be the same line right here, okay? I could draw it for you if you want so you can see what I'm looking at. Two days of tops. Two days of tops. And what caught my eye again? That volume pickup into the close. Support above the 20, resting on the 8 day. We're going to advance this one bar. This is the first 30 minute, our first hourly bar of the day, okay? And what did we do? It got, it gapped above this line on the hourly, and we bought. We bought right here, pulled back, started to lift, and started to move. Now, I'm going to advance it one more bar. Again, I don't want to do the daily first. I want to do this, because this is how we fine-tuned it. And again, this is an hourly chart. This ain't no freaking five-minute chart advance it and it starts to do this and we do we were buying here all right and then when it lifted above here and started to run we wanted to buy more all right and we did okay now i'm going to take you to the daily advance at one bar this is the daily chart there's the open open on the daily open on the hourly i'll advance this and it keeps on going and we had bought it and it keeps on going. This is all one day. This is hourly. Reverses down. 
but still not bad. Starts to go up again. Now I want to show you something here. This is a great tactic we show people. You can say, boy, Pat, that's an ugly reversal bar. I don't know. That might be the top. Always factor into your thought processes price and volume. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. They're buying. They're buying, but volume's dropping off. Volume drops off. Volume drops off. Uh-oh, it runs up and reverses down on a pickup in volume. That's it. It's over. Look at the volume on this bar versus these first two igniting bars. It's less. You've got a great cushion. We own the stock for $19.53 and 20 cents. All right? We're in fine shape. We bought here. We bought more, taking out the highs of this bar right in here. We're about loading into it. Okay? So now, watch this. I'll advance this one more bar. And it starts to lift again. See that? And notice this. Because we bought right at the right prices, we don't have to panic out on that little down tick bar. And what's it do the next bar? It starts to go up again on a pickup in volume. They bought it back. And then you get this into the close. Is that sweet? Look at that volume coming to the close. And it was taking out the highs of here. So what are we doing? Yeah, we were in it. Picked it up a couple of times. And it's great. Now, do they all do this? No, no. But it's nice when they do. Now, let's advance this to the next day. You get this gap up here. It gaps up, runs up, and fades. This is the first hourly bar. Go here. It's fine. We're in good shape. We own it down here. All right? In fact, I want to show you something. I'm going to drag. This is straight off the trading platform. That's our cost. That was our average cost on Amazon. $19.53 and 20 cents. Average cost on Tesla, average cost on Netflix. This is off the, I can't, I, you can say, oh, he photoshopped it. Jeez, I don't know how to freaking photoshop. I don't know how to do any of that, but I'm good at copy and pasting. I got that down to a science. There it is. There's your cost. I'm going to drag this out again. So we're in good shape. Advance this. By the way, let's go back. This is the close, which corresponds basically with this. Advance this another bar. Does this. Here's this day. There's the first hourly bar. Now we own it down here in 1953. All right, we're in good shape. Meanders around. And there's the close. Right there. 2011 and 60 cents. 2011, 60 cents. People say, oh wait, it gapped up and it closes below the open. That's it. Well, you've got cushion. Could you sell a little bit off? Sure, you're up right here. You're up almost 70 points. 70 points. If you want to sell some, you can. Do you sell all of it? No. And I'm going to explain why. There's a maxim on Wall Street. You'll never go broke taking a profit. Folks, I'm going to tell you something. You may not like to hear it, but I'm going to tell you. If your losses are bigger than your profits, you're going to go broke. Okay? So now let's advance this another day. We'll do the hourly first, because this is what we're looking at. There's the first bar. Oh, we're okay. Oh, inside bar. Okay. Oh, slight pickup in volume, and it picks up. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's all right. Oh, starts to pick up into the close. Fine. Advance this. And, oh, i got to advance this one more bar. There we go. 20.43, and this is 10 cents difference. But that's the, that's the close. All right? There's the close here. There's the close there. It's fine. Do we have to sell? No. It's going up. Just, just see what it does. Did, do we take a little bit off in here, maybe? Sure, there's nothing wrong with that, but not much. Don't do that. Who knows where it's going to go? So let's advance it. Oh, God, that's the end of the world. It's over. It's over. If you hadn't sold any, maybe on this gap up and reverse down, you would sell a little bit. All right? You're up. Folks, you're up right here a lot. 70, 80 points right in here. Let's advance it, though. Huh? Inside bar. Oh, starts to pick up again. Inside bar. Oh, down a bit. Slight pickup in volume, but we're in good shape. Reversal bar. Let's advance this. And this basically corresponds... Oops, excuse me. This basically corresponds right here 
to this. Six cents difference, but it's close. And it's just a, you know, again, folks, you bought it right. So we're in good shape. We can let it breathe, okay? Here's the close. Let's advance it. Oh, sweet potato pie. Is that nice? Look at the volume. That's beautiful. That ain't too bad either. And again, I'm just looking at the daily and I've got hourly next to it. That's all. And it's doing this. Do we have to freak out? Why? There you go. How about that? And there's the close. Advance it. 2168. Close enough. 0187. And again, we own it right in here in 1953. And it's moving up. It's getting close to taking out these tops. Let's advance this. And you get that. Look at the volume pickup. You don't want to know why the volume's so heavy on that bar? I want you all to think about this. Why did it pick up so much on this? This is the first hour of the day. See high here at 2260? What's the high right here? 2170. What did the stock do, folks? It took out these old highs. There you go. Is that sweet? And here you go. Right there. And we own it here at 1953. So now let's advance it some more. And you get this. And it's doing this. Everything's great. Now I'm just going to speed up the process. There you go. There you go. Can you sell some into strength? Sure. But is that a good bar? You're darn right it is. Drops down here a little bit. All right. Right in here. Drops here on a pickup in volume. Could you sell some more if you wanted to? Sure, but would you sell all of it? No, heck no. It's still walking up the dang eight-day moving average. Inside bar. And this is today. Thursday night. And that's where it's at. So, again, I want to slide this in here. There's a reason I'm doing this. is to go through slowly, bar by bar. It's something a lot of people always look at stuff after the fact. If you go through by, by, bar by bar, you can see the pattern develop. But it does something else for you that's really important. It helps you feel your feelings. What do you feel at that time? That can help you control your emotions. If you can control your emotions, you can make better investing decisions. You don't panic out of stuff. And again... I slide it in. 19.53 and 20 cents. Right here's where we our average price is. And that's a nice move. 400 was that 450 points? And that's where we're at. Where is it going to go next? I don't know. I don't have a clue. But good entry in here and adding can do this. I did this to go slow and let you see the process one by one, bar by bar. That's how you make more money. This is what we teach. Do they all work? Uh, the only person who never has a loss, his name is Liar, okay? You always manage risk. You limit losses. But when you get a good one, you let it run as long as you can. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. We're going to have a <clears throat> we're going to have a webinar, training coaching webinar, questions answered for everybody Saturday morning, 10:30 Central Time. And if you want to come, it's free and we're going to hammer it. This is what we do. Now, I know you can say, "Boy, you went pretty dang slow on that one, Pat." Yes, I did because it's involved. That's more technical. I want to take time so that you can grasp the concept and own the concept. So what do we do, folks? It's really simple. I hope you can make it Saturday morning. We'll answer your questions. And what's it going to do for you? Make you a better investor. I didn't say trader. I said investor. And manage your money. Anyway, I thank you. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.